So uh, welcome, you guys. I'm so glad you found us. Yeah, namaste. It's great. And good to see you all as well. Good, good. And just say hello to each other and namaste. So easy. If you want to sit um, on your knees folded under, if not, sit cross-legged and sit on the blanket. And easy fingertips are out. You're going to breathe in through the nose and lift up. Exhale, slightly drop your head and reach out through the fingertips so you press down in the armpits and stretch your underbelly of your arms. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down to the earth. Down to the earth, big boy. Good. Remember that the exhale is the flattening of the belly to the backbone, the emptying of the lower lungs. Inhale, lifting the chest, starting to mobilize the spine. Navel point is action-based. Exhale, three more, one, two, three. Hold the arms up, look up, take in a little more breath. And easy and humbly slide your hands down your heart line, nestle your thumbs at your breast, breastplate, softly drop your brow towards your heart and invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath, with your body, with your spirit. Invite yourself to befriend yourself and to participate in your healing. Softly sweep the arms out, up and overhead, inhale. And exhale, the left arm goes to the sky, the right arm goes off your hip, and you're going to pulse off to the edge. Keep the chin up, keep the shoulder out of your ear, let the elbow be soft and rebounding so that you work on your love handle, right? Don't get too serious. <laughs> Freddie, bring your right hand forward off your thigh more, not back. You don't want to be, uh, uh, and we, ah, stretch the Cheetos. Are you breathing? I'm so happy. <laughs> Inhale, rebound up. Happy cactus jazz hands. You can take this home to Santa Cruz, to the fog. You spin the body. Jazz hands is kind of universal, but happy cactus, that's a desert posture. Spin at the waist, start to loosen the body up. Go wild, buddy. Let your head go with you. Go wild. There's no right or wrong way to be a happy cactus. <laughs> you know, the whole forest is filled with odd shaped happy cactus, <laughs> nothing personal. <laughs> Come back into the center, easy sweep the arms out, up and overhead, inhale, exhale, the left hand comes off the side of the body so that you're not crimping your lower back. Keep the right elbow over the ear. Bouncing back up. Keep the knees together, little one. That a girl. Hello. <laughs> Breathing. You're fine like that. It's just another option for pain. <laughs> Easy. Rebound back up. Happy cactus jazz hands. Spin, spin, spin. Ah. Come on, Ernesto, a little faster. And stimulate the juice in your body, the circulation of the prana, inhalation and exhalation of oxygen. And then come back into the center and easy. Sweep your arms out, up and overhead and come up onto your knees, maybe. Slide your hands down your heart, come up onto your knees, curl your toes under. Now, if you need to put something under your knees, that's fine. If you want to put your blanket under your knees or fold the mat double, that's good. Fred, you good? Slide your hands onto your thighs. Now you get to be sassy. You get to flip your bottom backwards, stick your chest out, flap your elbows back, and kind of get your chin out there so that you overarch your back. Then. Curl the tailbone, flatten the thigh, make there's no crease into the pelvis, roll the shoulders, lift the chest, and then flip the tail back, chest forward, elbows back. Na, 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 na. It's a sassy position. 
right? Sassy. And then flip under, flatten the thighs. That's better, Fred. He's going wild. He's straight. <laughs> Our boys know how to be sassy. <laughs> Lift your chin. And then easy. Arms are going to stretch out up and overhead. So keep this pelvis flat and connected to the thighs. Inhale, lift up. And you're going to exhale. Keep holding on to the stars. Take the right hand and go back towards your heel. By curling the toes, you give yourself a little extra. Are you all right, buddy? He says, oh my God, this is nuts. Push your thighs forward. Reach up. Lift your chin slightly. Stretch. You feel it? Pulling away. The ribs pulling away from your waist. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. It's nice to see you, Sean. And then easy. Give a little inhale and reach the right arm up. Exhale. Inhale. Nice and flat. Left hand comes back to the heel. Right hand to the sky. You're so colorful, Robbie. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift the arm. Are you chewing gum? I forgot to say. That's so cute. It's like a child. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy. Inhale. Lift that arm up. And take both arms around to your lower back. You're going to take your hands and put the palms right in that curve of your lower back. You're gonna flap your elbows together, thrust your pelvis forward, lift the chest, keep the chin slightly on the throat rather than just letting your head wobble and hang back. And then just hinge back slightly. Some of you are better at it than others. Hinge back slightly, breathe in, breathe You guys stay there. Breathe in, breathe out, good job, lift the chest. Don't go maximum. Keep your chin on your chest. Go back a little more, Biggie. Don't overdo it because you'll complain tomorrow. Then you have to show up for yoga again. Two more breaths. If you overdo it, you go, oh my God. And then lift your head up. Sit down on your heels. Stretch the arms out, up and overhead. And drop over into child's pose. Child's pose would be sitting back on your heels. Your arms are long out in front of you. If you feel like you'd like to separate your knees, go right ahead and let your big toes touch. Breathe in, breathe out. Open the knees up, Sean. Yeah, open them. And then touch your big toes. Like this. Just like little electrical wires, like you were charging up your battery. And then sit down on your heels. Sit down. Be like that. Stay down. Hang out. Breathe. Bottom to the heels. Sit back on your heels. Stretch your arms out. Bow down to the earth. Allow your head to be below your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let yourself settle in. Just about lost you, Andrew. Breathe in, breathe out. The opportunity to connect to the earth, to circulate your cerebral spinal fluid, the prana, the kundalini, your chi, allowing yourself to pause, to be easy. <sighs> Loka. And then easy. Dig your fingertips into the earth, lift your palms. Lift your wrists and your elbows and shimmy your bosom. Shake out your head. That's good, Mr. Marlin. Get your elbows up. And then easy. Flatten the hands and rise up onto all fours. Bring the knees into parallel. Ah, The old famous cat and cow. The articulation of the structure of your body. Yoga allows you the opportunity to flip the tail up, drop your belly, slide your ribs forward, look up, exhale, tailbone to the heels, belly flattens, press the back of your heart to the sky, look through your thighs, buddy, so you're like this, arms are straight, and then flip, and exhale, keep your elbows straight, little one, inhale, Exhale, inhale, 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, once more. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into the center and easy. Roll the shoulders back. Curl the toes under. Squeeze the elbow creases towards each other. Spread the hands like big paws. Forefinger and the thumb. Keep the earlobe out of your shoulders. Hands are wide underneath the shoulders. Don't overthink it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Well, that's great if you have if you have a cue, if you have a cue, a verbal cue, it's part of the yoga practice is letting your body respond physically to a, a cue. So you start to have a relationship with your body. Take your left leg back, curl the toes under on the ground, drop your shoulders and push on the heel of your hands so that you stretch your calf out and your Achilles, yes or no? Well, that's good. Kind of unanimous stretching. How is it, Timber? Get your head on your spine. There you go. Roll the shoulders. Ah, beautiful. Fingers are engaged. Now you're going to hinge so that your shoulders come up over your wrists and that left leg just floats up at hip level, toe down. Breathe in, breathe out. Darling, calm the And then easy, swing that left leg forward so you can look over your left shoulder and see your toes. Breathing, and then curl around. You're going to go over the top of the back foot, down on the ground. Lift your chest. Look over your right shoulder and see if you can see your heel. Can you see your heel? No, it's just because there's a body in the way. And then back off of your hip nice and straight find yourself organized with your forefinger and your thumbs now it's going to get really demanding the opposite arm your right arm stretches forward by your ear breathe straighten out the left breathing connect to the earth press in the armpit that's good thrill seeking you can go ahead and grab that back angle if you want or not don't worry just stay straight find your balance Breathing, buddy. I'm so happy. Breathe. And then release and lower down. And now spin your hips around your heels. Oh, my God, this is supposed to be gentle. I'm sweating. Go the other way. A little more shaking, Lee. I don't see you tracing a circle with your Watusi. <laughs> We're trying to bring mobility to the bony structure of our body. So get that synovial fluid coming back into the center, finding yourself like a picnic table. Your arms are underneath you, forefinger and the thumb pressing towards each other. Curl the toes, take the right foot back, drop, and oh, stretch that calf. Breathing, hands are as wide as they are, nice and flat. Good. Bear paws. Boom. Oh, this feels so good if you've been prancing and dancing all night long. Then your calf is all tight and crimpy. Now hinge your shoulders over your wrist. Let the right leg float up. Oh, and you go, wow, look at me. Breathing. <laughs> now pull that right leg, straighten the leg, or just to pull that right leg forward so you can look at the toe. <whistles> Higher, Robert. Oh, there you go. Then go back, go all the way around, drop it on the ground, lift your chest, look over your shoulder and go, oh wow, one side's worse than the other. <laughs> Breathing, stretching, lifting, curling. 
And then easy, go ahead and lift that leg and let it float off your hip and let the right leg join in, or the right arm, sorry. Left arm, thank you. Left arm, uh, Ernesto, that's it. Breathing, oh, good job, breathing. Thrill seeking if you wish. Don't worry about thrill seeking, darling. Just find yourself. Grab your pants. Don't worry. You haven't been here a long time. Lift your chest. Press down your armpit. Slide your heart forward. Push that foot. Kick that foot back into the hand. Good job. Now release and nail it. And lower down. Oh, my God. Now spin around your hips. Other direction. Oh, I love it. And then come back into the center, cat and cow. We never know why they're called cat and cow. Angry cats kind of decipherable, but the cow part is always awkward. It's more like the saggy old horse, the lower back that, good. That's good. You can let your head go with you a little bit. Look through the legs. Remember the head has that skinny little neck is all that keeps that big head attached to the body. So you, <laughs> silly old neck. And then easy, go ahead, sit back into child's pose, but keep your knees together. Sit back on your heels. Now, if you have like, I have Cheetos in the way, I lift up a little bit and then I lay out on my thighs and walk my hands forward and drop my forehead to the earth. Again, let your bottom sit on your heels and your arms drag, stretch forward. Let your head, what Robbie? Let your head relax on the ground. And consider how different this is from 95% of your day. Your head's below your heart, that cerebral spinal, your chi, your kundalini flowing up the spinal column towards the center of your brain, the pineal gland. Consider the position of bowing down to. If you're in that place where you look for some sense of grace or honoring, then you can fold your hands in prayer pose and bend your arms over the back of your head. Beautiful. And then lower your hands down, stretch the fingers. Now this time you're gonna dig your fingertips into the ground, lift up the wrist and your palms, sit back on your heels, keep your knees together and Mitchy march your little fingertips all the way off to the right side. Keep your bottom glued to, glued to your heels. Brenda, I think you have your sound on. <laughs> Thank you. Sit back, reach, elbows are off. Good, feels good, yes, no? Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> and here we go. Good, Mitchy, march around. Keep your bottom glued to your heels. Mitchy, march around. And you can use that left hand to give you a little, even an inch more with your right arm stretched out. Oh. Side body, feel the where the lower back and the kidneys connect into the pelvis. Yes, breathing. Wow, you're so limber, Linda. And then Mitchie march back around into the center. Shimmy and shake. Inhale up onto all fours. Do we dare? Curl your toes, sit back on your heels. Arms are long in front of you. The hands are like a big bear paw. You're gonna look at your thumbs and your forefinger. This position here connects earlobes to the shoulder girdle. 
So if the shoulders jump up to your ears, press down on the forefinger and the thumb. Pull the elbow creases towards each other. Lift your bottom up. Stretch your behind to the sky. Look between your thighs. Lift your heels. Push the earth away. And pedal your knees. You can drop. So you're in downward facing dog. Dropping the heels. Alternating the heels. Pulsing towards your thighs. Breathing would be wise. Feet are together in down dog, little one. Breathing and easy, both heels high and then drop both heels, three breaths. One, squeeze the elbows, press the earth away. Keep your arms out there, Bobby, further out. Mr. Marlin, arms further out in front of you. Two, three, and now easy. Come on, buddy. Ass in the air, inhale into plank pose like you were machismo. Oh, God loves you. You know that. Come along, darlings. I have to have shoulders. Oh, no, we have. Andrew has had several of them. So go down on your forearms and lift your knees up. Put your hands down. Cry. <laughs> There you go. Now drop into half plank, everybody. Ernesto, don't give up right now. This is the exciting part. <laughs> half plank. <laughs> you can do that whenever you want. You can throw a vinyasa in there. Squeeze the elbows, buns down, bosoms over the thumbs. Knees are up, buddy. Oh, my God, he says. I didn't eat breakfast this morning. Breathe in, breathe out. Jennifer, put your head in line with your spine. Breathe in, breathe out. Four more. Remember, who is it? Jane Fonda does this for hours on end or share. share. My God. Three more. One. Ernesto, are you up? Two. <laughs> Three. Down you go. Easy. Splat. Heels out. Toes together. You're down on your stomach, Sean. Arms are out in front of you. Look up here. I'm here. Breathe. Cross your arms. Turn one chin to the side. One chin. One chin. <laughs> Heels, one cheek. Heels are out. Breathe easy. Yeah. Relax. Head down. Look to the side. So be a witness to what's running through your head right now. Some of you are like, oh my God, this isn't gentle at all. I'm sweating breathe but remembering that our vision of what's survival and what strength is what mobility is what suppleness is cross your arms a different way turn your head the other side relax your lower back relax into the earth imagine yourself supported by the mother gravity is your friend Breathe in, breathe out. It's more infrequent as we age that we spend time on the ground on purpose. <laughs> right? So you've decided to choose to be on the ground. So easy, you're going to unfold the arms you're going to come back into, i sorry, with your elbows underneath your shoulders. You're going to pull your ankle bones together, your inner knees together. You're going to slide your heart forward, your shoulders pinch backwards, and your throat opens up. And you make a nice little bikini bottom. So you put your ankles together because it's summertime still, almost fall. And then you're going to look over the shoulder, left shoulder, see if you can see your heel, breathe in, breathe out, keep your chest up, stretching and creating space in your stomach, yes? Opposite from slouching on the couch. And then look over your right shoulder. Ooh, breathe. Back into the center, easy. 
Now lower your bosoms down, stretch your arms back behind you, reach with your fingertips towards your heels, Keep the inner thighs together and the ankle bones together, Santa Cruz. There you go. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Those of you that want to do, go a little more extreme into bow can go. Breathing, lift the chest up, strengthening the back side of the body. Keep breathing. Arms are off the ground, breathing. Good job. Yes, three more breaths. One, two, Three, lower down, hands under the shoulders. Lift back up, cross your ankles and sit. Cross-legged, easy. Hands on your thighs, sit softly. Close your eyes, flip your tongue up to the, behind the upper teeth. Soften your eyes, stack up your bones, breathe into the side lungs, unfurl your brow, plump up your lips, be soft, be sweet, be present. You practice that curious art, that art of witnessing, of observing how your breath pulls in through the nostrils, rolls down the back of your throat, expands the unattached ribs. Notice if impatience wells up, if that what's next, that expectation draws you from the simplicity of sitting. It's how you manage waiting. Just floating, witnessing, observing the pumping and beating of your heart, the in-breath and the out-breath, the openness of your chest, the softness of your shoulders. Feel how you feel seated on the earth. Good to add an exhale breath as we sit here without changing anything. You simply exhale through the nose, snapping your belly button to your backbone. We'll stay for about a minute. X, 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 X. Bounce that belly button to your backbone. Empty the lungs. Good job. Make a lot of action in your gut. Exhale through the nose. Keep breathing. X, 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 X. Good. Ten more seconds. Hang in there. Easy, inhale, both arms are gonna sweep out, up and overhead, lift your gaze, inhale up. And exhale, humbly slide down your heart line, gathering all that sweetness. And you dedicate the practice and your breath to the finer qualities of self, to that kindness and compassionate 
essence of yourself to your curiosity. You dedicate your breath to your creativity, to that opportunity for being a shiny incandescent light in the world, for being an inspiration. Acknowledge your stepping out, your bravery. Acknowledge your yearning to improve your wellness, to take a hold. Take a nice deep breath, slide your hands on down and just shift your feet. Fingers are gonna go out, sitting tall, loosening your jaw, breathe out and then breathe in and lift your arms overhead, look up. And you easy, you're gonna take your right hand to shoulder level your left hand's gonna wrap over the top of your head and try and hook up with your ear. The left elbow opens up, the chest lifts and softly drop your left ear towards the shoulder. Keep the chest up and then reach out through the right finger, slowly lowering the right hand down towards the mat. Open and close your jaw a little bit, lift the chest, breathe in, breathe out. Along, move the jaw. And then softly, without too much pressure, you can turn and look down at the ground. And then you can bring the head back to straight, easy. And then softly, inhale, release gently, lift the arm up and lower the left arm down. Sit tall. And easy, reach out, inhale, lift up, look up. Lengthen your spine, left arm comes out to shoulder level, right arm comes over the head, grabs the earlobe, open the elbow, sit straight so you feel both butt bones into the earth or sit bones, pleasant, and then reach out slowly, dropping the right ear to the shoulder, let the left arm stretch out far and away, and you'll feel the difference, one side's different than another, you can feel it in your wing bone. Stretching and breathing, easy. In and out. Fingers are resting gently on the earth. Lift the chest. Remember that head gets a lot of work. It can be eight to 15 pounds, depending on your attitude. That poor neck gets tired. Now easy, turn your head and look down at your right knee. You can release a little bit of the pressure so you don't you know, pull your head off your neck. And then come back easy and sit tall, lift the chest, reaching out. And then gently release that right arm up and let the hands go down. Lift the arms up overhead. Exhale out to a T. Let the right arm come across the body, left hand down to the ground, come up and grab your non-existent watch. I love watches. Pull the shoulder back so that you're trying to make a T out of your body. So the T would be, the crossbar would be the shoulders. You can sit straight like it's sit on your pillow. I'm just stretching in a second. But also try your pillow will help. I was. Oh, okay. Okay. Good? Yeah. Be easy. You can always sit straight like it. Stretch that arm, right arm, buddy. Reach out and tickle his ear. <laughs> again, turn your head. And turn your head again. Oh, wow. See if you can see over your left shoulder. <whistles> Guides, gods, ghosts. Come back into the center. Head is straight forward. And easy. Release the arm. Stretch out. Arms overhead. Out to the side, sweep the left arm across the body, right arm down to the ground, so it's nice and close. Jump up and grab the other non-existent watch. Straighten out your shoulders, drop the shoulder from the ear. 
Sit up tall, good breathing. <sighs> Try and straighten that elbow, depending. Careful. Good, Andrew, it's okay? Good. Breathing. So this is your shoulder that's going to have an event. I've had two spinal surgeries on both, but this one I'm seeing Dr. Bell again. Okay, we'll just talk to it. Go easy with it. There's no right or wrong, but you don't want to freeze. So go easy. And then easy. Did you turn your heads? Sorry. Want to see about the ghosts, your guides, your gods. Look the other side. How is it? Range of motion to the body. Easy. Back into the center. Stretch the arms back behind you. Arm comes up and overhead. Right arm comes up. Come and grab that elbow. Lift. Claw down your middle back like you have a little itch. Scratch your itch. Is that how it goes? Stretching out that tricep. Go easy. This one's okay on this side. Good. As long as you know what your body can do. So what the learning process is not to overextend and then release. Up you go. Grab the elbow, lift. Open the right elbow. Take that left hand down the mid back. Tickle your spine. Exhale, closing the ribs. Those of you that are like super flexy can go ahead and take that hand and try and walk up and grab your other fingers. Then you can go, ha, ha, ha. Na, 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 na. Go easy. Okay. It's a, okay. Then don't do it, right? Right. It's not painful. That's why. Oh, okay. Okay. Breathing. And release. Easy. Shake. Spin a little. You know how to do this. We used to do it all the time, you know. Then we used to dance in crowds. Arms go out, up and overhead. Slide on down humbly. Go slowly. Go, oh. I'm so grateful, right? You're so thankful. We have opportunity to align with the divine. Slide the hands on down. Let's go ahead and fold the knees together. Take a forward bend just to see what's happening in your body. It may be somewhere that you try often. Pull the bottom back. Legs are out straight. Arms lift up. Rib cage lifts up. Flip the tail back. Reach with your ribs over your thighs, your bosoms to your knees, your nose to your calves. <laughs> And then grab on anywhere you can. Uh -huh. So let your hands land on your toes or your ankles or your calves or the ground. That's good, Jennifer. Lift the chin just a little bit. Try not to crimp your breath. Go a little further, Ernesto. Good, buddy. Toes to the sky. And then easy, slide your hands back. That's the position of the witness, you know, the forward bend. Hands are back by your knees. You're going to straighten the elbows, pull the toes towards your face, and then point the toes, put the ankle bones together, activate that midline of your legs, opening the top of the feet, lifting the chest up, out, and over, and then push the heels, toes to the nose, little toe, comes around to the earlobe. Hands will go a little further, Jennifer. Good. And then point, the, open the top of the feet. Toe socks. Activate the midline so the kneecaps come together, the calves come together, the ankle bones. And you can even scoop it up. Yeah. So if someone came and picked you up, they would just, you would be in one piece, like an L. Push the heels again. You don't want to leave your rump behind 
And then easy three times only. Go ahead, hands off side, the thighs. You're gonna stack the vertebra and inhale. Lift the arms, sweep up and overhead. Exhale, blow out the birthday candles. Inhale, smell the rain. That was a couple of days ago. Exhale. Once more, inhale, undulate up. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up. And take your arms back behind you. Bring your feet in and lift up into picnic table. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your money maker, baby. Right leg. <laughs> you know, everybody knows where it is. That's the funny part. Roll the foot around. That's a little higher, Biggie. And the other leg, get it up. Full range. Trace the face of the clock. <laughs> Breathing. Lift up. Three breaths. One. Long thighs over the top of the feet. Two, three, lift your head, drop your fanny down and easy. Sorry. Ancient technology, the dinosaur of sound systems, the iPod <laughs> needs to get it. It is. I said, met a guy. I said, oh, yeah, I just transferred my dad's music to the computer. I went, really? Thank you. <laughs> he was like 45. Right? I went, OK, that works. These side to side. Hands are back behind you. Feel like this. Open your feet nice and wide. Make a statement. And then flop your knees down and lift your chest. Let both knees go all the way down to the ground, Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz one and two. <laughs> ah, this is opposite from driving your car, sitting in a chair, working. <sighs> one more. We'll go off to the left side. Bring the hands close to your bottom. And again, we try to activate the right rump and flatten that thigh. Open your feet a little further apart so both knees get down, buddy. There you go. Do you feel it right in here? It's so exciting, isn't it? It's been such a long time. A long time, I mean a long time. So thrust that hip around. Yeah, you remember how to do it. <laughs> do you remember how to I know, don't remind me how long. It's actually our 20th on 11. Here we go. You're gonna take the back hand, that's your left hand, and turn it away from your bottom so you don't wreck your wrist. The right hand is gonna spin around. You're gonna look over your left shoulder and you're gonna create a twist. You're gonna look all the way back towards the fan. That's good. Ah. Oh. And those of you that are thrill seekers can go ahead and stretch out that right leg nice and long. <sighs> Towards the mirror, you girls. Yeah, so you're kind of in a modified pigeon. And then if you're really in the mood, you can lift up onto your French shin. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, glorious. Barishnikov. Lift. And then down you come. And then we have a tradition here. So you swing out. You grab this heavy old leg, you pull it together so the soles of the feet line up, and then you go, ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! Then you grab, it's too long of a story, but you're very good at it. They had no idea, but they participated. You have to do the other side, darlings. The yin and yang of it all. The in-breath and the out-breath. You know, you got to play in the paradox. Open your feet a little further apart, please. And let the knees get down. So you stretch that thigh away from your bosom, right? Ah, you open up that entire torso. Both knees. Ah, I love this, my friend. And then you're going to end up at your right side. 
and push up so you kind of almost feel both sit bones and pulse that left thigh. Ah, this is the gas pedal leg. Oh no, the other leg was for you. It's a gear shift leg. Nobody has gears anymore. I know, I just... Ah, this is the moaning song. And so easy. Take that back hand, the right hand, and turn the fingers away from the bottom. Put it close to your hip. Take the left arm, spin your upper body, squeeze and wring out that central core. Oh, feels delicious. And then stretch out that left leg, nice and long. Really? Minerals, electrolytes, bone on bone. <laughs> Breathe, cross your leg over. Cross the leg over that other leg. Uh-huh. And just sit right there. Breathe. <sighs> and then through a seek. Why? Well, maybe you're getting so limber. Because you were standing, putting the fluff on. Lift up, darling. Lift your watusi off the ground. Boom. Stretch your arm. Oh, beautiful. See? Glorious. Glorious. And down you come. And easy. Drive that left hand in, uh, leg in, put the soles of the feet together. Come on, Andrew. Ta-da! Very good. <laughs> Pull the legs together. Now for your mind, because we've been working on the body and adding some spirit, stretch your legs out. Pull your bottom back behind you. Inhale, lift up. Bow down over your thighs and see if you're like... <gasps> Oh, I'm so much more limber than I was. Just a little bit, yeah, like a quarter inch, a little bit, yeah? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Marlon, you're an inspiration, so don't worry. How is it, Fred? Did you get out further towards your ankles? Oh, good. Breathe and easy. Walk your hands back on in. Scoop forward. If you need to take a sip of water, go ahead. And then you're going to lay down on your backs and tuck your knees into your chest. Good. You can, you can slide a pillow or a blanket underneath your head. Tuck your knees into the chest. Easy. And then if you... Notice that your palm, palms, uh, fit exactly over your kneecaps, almost just like the top of a mason jar. Grab onto those kneecaps with your palms, tuck the knees into your chest, rock a little bit side to side, and then separate both knees out. So for example, if your chest was 12 on an old clock, open up your knees to nine and three, and then swing your knees forward far away from you. Hold on for dear life and stretch out there towards six. So the knees to the chest, 12, open the knees out, three and nine, stretch forward six. Circle that thigh bone, in the hip socket. Breathing is wise. Robert, is it better? Yes. Okay. And then go in the other direction. Noticing how it feels, separating the knees. Are you okay? Like, can I touch you? Yeah. Okay. So you go, hold on to your knees. <laughs> Good hands would be like this. Ah, hold on. There. Ah, so you just get that lower back. Uh, and then you go, ah. <laughs> and then you go, ah. <laughs> so it's the stir the pot. Good, yeah? Just, ah, 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 ah. And then reverse the circle. 
Are you breathing? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. And then, <laughs> and then easy. That's good. Tuck your chin in a little bit, Fred. Maybe you're going to be on that pillow. Then easy. Go into happy baby. Happy baby means you hold the outside of your feet, the little toe side of your feet, and your kneecaps go into your armpits. If you can't do that, you can hold your ankles. Good. And bend the knees. Get the tailbone down. Bend those thighs. Open the feet out. Just look at Are you breathing? Oh, I'm so happy. I know. Good. Is this is good, yeah? Yeah. You're doing just fine. Thank you. Yes. Welcome. An old worry word here. <laughs> Hold your outside of your own feet. I'm just around to do like Cirque du Soleil. You're not going to give me reflexology? <laughs> I'll jump up into a handstand. <laughs> and then easy. What happened, darling? Then easy. Open your legs out and roll your toes towards the ground and put your, lift your hand, and put your hands on the inside of your thighs. So you can, that's it. Robbie's got it there. That's good. Hey, breathing, Mr. Marlin. You did <laughs> when I walked by. <laughs> legs are out in a big why not or a big V or honey, I'm home. Roll, push through your heels. Get engaged with the length of your legs. Length. Oh, he says, oh my God. Breathing. Oh, it's cool back here. Good. Welcome home. Good. Now you can roll your feet around on your ankles. Full. <laughs> Careful <laughs> for nose and go the other direction. All right, Robbie. Oh, Fred, it's improving. And then easy, slip your hands to your outer thighs and press the legs together straight up to the sky. <sighs> then bend your knees down. Put your feet on the ground and bring your hands up to the sky and make little fists. Make little fists. Then your arms are going to slide down to the ground, squeezing your ribs, lift your bottom, slip the arms underneath your sacrum, underneath your tailbone, wiggle around so you get your biceps to cradle your spine, bring your knees to the chest and stretch the legs up to the sky. Keep the back of your skull on the ground, keep the ankle bones together, the inner knees together, open the soles of your feet to the heavens. Go ahead and receive all that energy. Tailbone stays on the ground. You're laying on top of your arms. Hands like this. Uh huh. And underneath, if you can, can you get your hands underneath your rump? Good breathing and roll your arms, stretch the heels to the sky. You come not maximum right here. There you are. Breathing, inner thighs together, inner knees together. You can put the legs a little bit further away so you're in an L. Uh-huh. So if you begin to tremble, that's so exciting because your nervous system is thrilled, thrilled to be cleansing. Push the heels. That's good. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax the back of your skull slightly. Once you figure out how to do that, you'll be happy. Relax the back of your skull. Ten more seconds. Breathe in, breathe out. Imagine how healthy this is how much you're feeding the valves, you feed your digestion, you feed your complexion, you allow the circulation of the arteries, you allow the valves in the heart to respond. Five more seconds, breathing one, breathing two, don't give up, Freddie. Breathing three, breathing four, good job. Breathing five, easy, bend the knees in. Drop the feet onto the ground. Lift your hips up. Take your hands out. 
and take your hands nice and squeezing. Go ahead and just give yourself a soft fish. Your hands are gonna come palms down. They're gonna lay right next to your body on the ground. And as you stretch your legs out away from your torso, your chest is gonna push up to the sky. Your elbows are gonna be involved. You squeeze and drop your head back towards the ground. Fish pose, exposing the viscera, activating the legs, beautiful. Press down on the elbows and lift the chest. That's good, uh-huh. Keep the hips down, that's another move. <laughs> chest is up, good job. Breathe. Good job. It starts to change. Ooh. It starts to change. I'm ticklish. You are. <laughs> oh, then I have a full advantage. <laughs> Take advantage. Take advantage. Three more breaths. Lift the chest a little higher. <sighs> Two. <laughs> And three, and tuck your chin in, lower the body down easy. Wrap your knees into your chest. And easy, you can open your arms out into a T. Keep the knees at your chest and let your knees just roll side to side. Just give yourself a little opportunity just to equalize the spine. Go ahead, rock side to side, easy. Uh-huh. And then come easy back into the center. Hug the knees into your chest, tuck the chin in, three breaths. Breathing the ribs against the thighs. And then stretch the legs and arms up into the sky. Take a nice deep breath, inhale and squeeze everything. And then exhale, open up the legs and the arms and relax down onto the ground. Spread your legs, spread your arms, close your eyes. Find yourself friendly. Take a nice deep breath and softly rest into the earth. Easy. Corpse pose, Shavasana, easy. So the eyes drop inside the body. They almost take a back dive. You allow yourself to meander through that amazing inner void that interior landscape. As you scan the body, allow your breath to become natural and easy. Let your lips be plump and your face smooth. Any distractions that happen, just stay interior. Be soft, be easy. Let the large muscles drop from your bones. And find a curiosity with your ether body, with your energy body, allow your breath to move in and out. 
Let your skin become breathable and permeable. In a sense, feel yourself surrounded by that sweet, honey-like nectar of the gods, that emirate, that sweet honey of the honeybees. Let yourself be easy and still, noticing that the body rebalances itself. Notice how the energy flows softly, unobstructed. Try not to be distracted by any lists or unfinished business that rises up. Just float around, remain a witness, an observer. Let that rejuvenation, that relaxation, the restoring of self, that openness of your viscera, body supported by the earth, Sweet spirit flows through you, easy. breath guide you back into the vessel, letting the breath move your belly button, let the breath get a little larger and fill up your fingers and your toes, you wiggle your toes and you wiggle your fingers and you slide your thumbs across your fingertips to reconnect the nervous system. Take a little bit deeper breath. And on your exhale, go ahead and fold your hands onto your lower belly. Fold your palms flat onto your lower belly. That lower gut. And then softly slide your hands up to your heart. Pull in all that joy and that abundance, all the grace. And then easy, you lace your fingers or twine your fingers. And you're going to roll your arms out, up and overhead, palms facing away from your crown, resting on the mat. Long overhead. And then step your straight legs together one at a time till they come touching and then point your toes and push your heels and wiggle in your hips, flutter your eyelashes, move your lips, and just go, wow, happy to be alive. Inhale, exhale, tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. And go ahead and roll off to either side you wish. You can roll left since we're playing with the moon. 
and then press up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Let your eyes be soft. Acknowledge your rootedness, your earthboundedness, your seatedness. And then together, let's take the arms out from the wing bones, reach out up and overhead. Lift your gaze, press your palms together. And then easy, open up your fingers, keep the baby fingers and thumbs glued so you make your cup or your chalice. And again, you open to the cosmos and humbly slide down your heart line with that full lotus mudra, receiving again that energy and grace from the divine. Nestle your thumbs at your breastplate, breathe in and on the exhale, bow your brow towards your heart and fold your fingertips together gently. We find ourselves naturally in this ancient and sacred greeting, this place where for centuries we have bowed and honored and greeted and welcomed that divine sparkling incandescent dancing great spirit that lives within ourselves and others. And we know the sameness of our breath and the sameness of our blood. We thank ourselves for being present and a part of and thank each other and thank you all for being part of this urban yoga family affair. Namaste, namaste. Thank you guys, thank each other. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing up, everybody. Thank you so much. Good job. Easy. Thank each other because it never gets so good without the group effort. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Susan. Great. You'll have to find each other somehow in Santa Cruz because <laughs> Amy's up there. Thanks, L&L. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Andrew.